All right, guys. What's up? My name is Warren. Uh, I am somebody that's a fan of Nintendo games, uh, PlayStation games, and I also have a gaming PC. So that out the way. Today, uh, we're reviewing a wonderful game system that was sent to me from China. Uh, this is the fucking Pow Kitty R. RGB 20S on phone and great. So, uh, the RGB 20S, low key, no cap, has a lot of games on this shit. Uh, some of the stuff that I added on here, uh, you can see it didn't come with, like, it did not come with Tekken 6. Well, it did, but their Tekken 6 did not work. And it did not come with Def Jam Fight for New York or Tony Hawk's Underground 2. The reason why I put uh, Def Jam Fight for New York on here is, one, because it's a really good game and I had it on the PS2. But also, I remember somebody was like, hey, yo, let me see how Def Jam Fight for New York looks on there. Um, one thing I can say, uh, one of the games that I will showcase on the PSP side will be that game. So I will show gameplay of that. But on to this, uh, the whole reason why I got this shit is because I am a fan of fighting games. All fighting games, like all fighting games, I except for Street Fighter. I'm gonna be mad real. Not really. I like some Street Fighter games. Like my favorite Street Fighter game is Third Strike, and that's the only game that I care about in the series, other than Street Fighter X Tekken, and that's it. Because I just never got into the game. But it has like all the obscured fighting games, like KOF and Darkstalkers. That's something that I really like. Also, it also has Marvel vs. Capcom too. Uh, both versions on there. So, hold on. I'm gonna, uh, pause this shit and give y'all some gameplay of that. The thing that I like that's on here is the search feature. I can just search up versus, and then look what it pulls up. SNK versus Capcom. Oh, yeah, nah, this is some crazy shit that I've seen on here. Virtual Fighter versus Tekken. Virtual Fighter versus Tekken. Tekken. Tekken, too. So, uh... Yeah, it has some ROM hacks on here as well. But, uh, look, it has Super Street Fighter. It has SNK versus Capcom. What is NBA Bulls versus Lakers? Let's see. If these niggas fighting in this game, I am going to laugh. Let me find out that I. Ha it's probably just going to be like NBA Jam. EA. Oh, God. Oh, God. These motherfuckers just making games this long. EA Sports. Bulls versus Blazers. Yeah, no, that's sure the fucking Lakers. That is sure the fucking Lakers. Anyway, that's a gem right there. That is a gem right there. That is a gem right there. NBA Playoffs. Okay. One. I never played this shit before. Alright. Alright, guys. We're gonna see how this plays. So, this was 2K before niggas had 2K. So, now I just pictured a nigga sitting in his bedroom, his girlfriend behind him, and she's like, man, get off that game. And she like, shut up, bitch. I'm playing uh, fucking Chicago Bulls versus the Blazers. Anyway, they have the nerve to have multiple versions of the fucking. Anyway, Capcom versus SE, Jordan versus Bird. Okay, Lonely Tunes, bro. This is what I care about. Marvel vs. Capcom. Clash of Superheroes. Okay, these are the OG versions right here. Marvel vs. Capcom. Clash of Superheroes. CPS2. So that might be a PS2 ROM. Okay, let's see. Marvel vs. Capcom. Superheroes. Neo Geo. That's what I want to play it. I feel like the Neo Geo versions of everything had the better sprite work and shit. I didn't... I wasn't obviously there back then. You know what I'm saying? Dude, is there already dead pixels? No, that's just fucking dust on my shit because I'm dirty. Um, anyway. I thought that said Jordan. I got scared for a minute. I thought I was playing another NBA game. Okay, uh, let's see. Back to what I was saying. I feel like SNK games had the best, uh, cabinets had the best colors and shit. I don't... Know how in the fuck, you know, why is it on an S and K? But anyway, now y'all, y'all know I gotta pick obviously the best fucking girl.
All I'm just saying is if you look like Morgan, bro, slide in my fucking DMs. Like, I mean that shit. Slide in my fucking DMs. And I was awkward because I did I didn't like pause the video right, bro. She has no way to be cheeked up. Like I was telling my girl this shit last night. Anyway, she has no reason to be cheeked up like that, bro. Anyway, as I was saying, bro, look at how fast that shit loaded. All right, Morgan, I don't I don't I can't play you one handed. Hold on, yeah, we gonna taunt. We just gonna keep taunting. Keep talking. Bro. Whole time I could just I could just Morgan. Morgan help. We don't hold on. I ain't finna lose this more. Anyway, that nigga dog shit at the fuck out of me and Morgan. Hold on. I'm gonna have to get my get back real quick. The review is gonna have to wait. Fuck them niggas. Fuck them niggas for real. Fuck them niggas. Yeah, that nigga dead. Anyway. Back to the review. I'm supposed to be so professional. But yeah, no, that's Marvel vs. Capcom, and that's obviously on an SNK cabinet. And you know me, like I said, I like Marvel vs. Capcom, so you know what I can do? I can just come right here, press X, over it, boom. Now it's in my favorite collection. Oh no, I kept pressing random. My bad. Nigga, you see that shit? Now I gotta go back down there. Find it again. Look at this shit. And it has to be the SNK version. Versus collection. Nah, bro. I want my MVC. Where is it at? Where is it at? So, as I was saying, I can go right here. And it says, boom. Favorite. Press Y. My bad. I was pressing X. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Boom. Added that shit to my favorites list. So, now every time I uh, go to my list, I can have it there in my favorites list. And stuff like that. Maybe I should have made the favorites list the damn every game and like, you know, little shit here. I'm not going to review all these game systems because I'll be mad real. I ain't never grow up with a PC engine, a, a Super Nintendo, a Super, well, no, a Super Nintendo, a Nintendo Entertainment System, a Super Nintendo, or an N64. But I appreciate games that came from all of here. Like, Battletoads is my shit. I ain't going to lie. I was playing that shit last night and that shit was amazing. Um, Here we go. You know, Tetris was basically the Call of Duty for, like, boomers and shit. Like, the motherfuckers used to really wait for Call of Duty. I mean, for Tetris to come out like it was a new Call of Duty. Damn. I wonder. It's funny how video games, like, recreate themselves. We're really finna have a video game crash soon. So I'm buying this. Even though I have a PS5 in the front room. But like I said, a gaming PC. I have a two Nintendo Switches. Like, but nope. I prefer this shit because all the games on here are, like, shit that I'm going to play. So, anyway, let me see if I can go to my favorites. As you can see, 17 games in your favorite. Obviously, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. Multiple versions. Battletoad, like I was saying. Dark Starkers is the same. Vampire Hunter 2. Man, I really fucking love Dark Starkers. And, like, now everybody's going to see that thing that I said about Morgan when I started playing Marvel vs. Capcom. And he immediately think I'm a freakazoid. And you're right, I am a fucking freak as well. For more than bro. Bro, this video is already crazy, but it's eight minutes long and I don't really feel like fucking filming it again. So, it's gonna be funny, bro. Like, uh. So, we're gonna go all the way up to. DS, right? Now, this is something that I added shit in. One of the games that I added in, obviously, was Kingdom Hearts 358 Days and 2, because I'm a big Kingdom Hearts nerd. Um, Pokemon White version, both versions of that. And down here, it's not showing it, but I have SMT Strange Journey. I'm going to just show you all that shit, because, like, it's an obscure NES game. Oh, it's, just, it's an obscure DS game, bro. Fuck. I suck at life. Anyway. Look. Boom. And it kept my save progress from, like, the last time I played. And I just leaked my whole fucking first and last name. So, congratulations. That's what I get. Um, anyway. Yeah, nah. You know, this is the, um, game. Uh, if you want to swap screens, you would have to flop back here. And, uh, as you can see, it has four buttons and shit. And so, if I press one, it does that. 
if I press it again, it does that and fixes it. So if I prefer to play like this, because you're honestly like weird if you play that shit sideways like that. Well, like not sideways like that, but you get what I'm saying. Like you're weird if you play that shit horizontal like this. I'm just saying it's mad weird. It, it works, but honestly, I either prefer to swap screen from screen because I enjoy pixel art and sprite works and video games and shit like that. But like, look, so you know, mission art tells you how to play the game, everything like that. Hold on. This is obviously the definitive way of playing it. You can see that even though the screen is like small as shit, you can still read it and stuff like that. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the game and stuff. Also, this shit is like really big. Like, this shit is like dead ass. You can palm this shit. Like, palm this shit. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, this shit is very small. Like, very small. Like, obviously, the uh, length of my hand. And so the screen is only three inches. But, you know, it has personality. Like, I'm saying, like, obviously, like, look at the fucking colors. As, look, all I'm saying is I'm not wrong for wanting Morgan from Dog Stalkers to sit on my. Anyway, as I was saying, I was gonna show y'all the uh, Def Jam fight from New York. Tony Hawk Underground Two was something that I modded on there too, as well as a uh, Def Jam and shit, uh, and other game. But uh, Mortal Kombat Unchained. I'm gonna tell y'all this right now. The PSP emulation in this game system is pretty shoddy, but like I'm gonna let y'all hear like. Def Jam Fight for New York runs really good. Like, the music-wise, the music is still there. Like, man, what? I was just chilling and stuff. And also, just to show y'all people this shit, for those who do not know, if you are ever in a screen and you want to mess with shit on this device, click both the thumbsticks in. That's how you bring up the menu. And if you don't know what you're doing, leave this shit alone. If you want a guide, I'm not the guy. But, like, if you tweak with all of this shit, it can mess with the emulations. It can make it better or worse. And so, in some games, uh, of course, you know, it's to each their own and shit. But, uh, no, look, Def Jam, Fight for New York, the takeover, obviously running perfectly. Listen. I know how a game is going to run based off the sound. Like, obviously, I'm going to go to a battle real quick for those who just needs to see. So obviously, like it has little glitches and shit there and there when it loads stuff in. But other than that, the uh, the game's pretty fucking heat. I'm not gonna lie, like the music is there. Obviously, if like, like if I hold still here, it's not gonna do anything. I'm gonna take me and this dude to the Bronx, you know. No, no submissions. We just beating the nigga ass for no reason. Uh, and here I go. Look at it running the game. Hey, I'm built to smash you, partner. That will break your goddamn neck. <laughs> now you see this little soft ass tiger face while I'm playing the hardest game known to man. And as you can see, it's just Def Jam fight for New York. Like literally, just Def Jam fight for New York, bro. Kicking this nigga, kicking this nigga. Look. So, if you wanted a PSP. But couldn't afford a PSP. I wouldn't say like I'd use this for emulation, obviously. But, like, you know, it has little stuttery moments like that. But it's not like you're playing against somebody else. Let's see. It's crazy, bro. I'm beating this nigga's ass one handed. I never. I was playing this shit on like my uh, PSX2 the other day. And I wasn't even able to do this shit. I wasn't even able to beat the nigga ass. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna hit my damn move. Throw this nigga. Broke back broken. I obviously just used my blades at the wrong time. I was supposed to use it when the nigga was low. Anyway. Grabbing the sticker. What's up? Kick, kick, kick. Nigga get up. I don't care. That's what. Throwing around. Punch, punch. Grab. So anyway. Nah, he thought he was finna do that shit to me. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. He thought he was really finna do that shit to me. Hold on. Who are you, nigga? Who are bro? Oh, tap any button. Okay. I really let that nigga get his blaze. Mm -mm. Go ahead, activate that shit. Who oh, give a fuck, nigga? It's not like you finna do something with it. Bitch, get on the round. Kick. Look at you. Yo ass like somebody uncle ready to ask for like the Bluetooth. 
what's the Wi-Fi password in the household, nigga? I'm, oh my God. Come on, fight back, nigga. God damn. I'm going to really let this whole match play out, too. Tap any button, right? Boom. Tap all them shits. Come on. One. Nah, hold on, hold on. This nigga really just... Nah, nah, come on. Bro, what the fuck? Nick, bro, bro. Who in the fuck do you think you are messing with me like this? Bro, I'm only beating this nigga's ass one-handed. Keep in mind. And, like, I'm looking at my phone screen to, like, see what I'm doing. So, there's, like, a little bit of a delay. But not really. But, like, no, bro. The game is low-key just handling this. So, oh, this nigga's really finna take my ass right now. Hold on. Anyway, I handled my business. Uh, yeah, no, nah, that shit, that shit lit, bro. It works. It works. That's all you just need to know. It works like a charm. Now, let me show you what I mean by the game system. Oh, it just saved the game. Okay, save state. Now, let me show you what I mean by the game system can have shoddy emulation. Allow me to show you one of my favorite games known to man. Tony Hawk's Underground 2. I used to come home from school just to play this fucking game. I, I beat the game hands down 15 times. Not this version, but the original Xbox version. Tony Hawk's Underground 2, honestly, is a game that should come back. And I don't understand why it's not back. You know, everybody's like, oh, bro. We want Proving Ground, oh, bro. We want THP. Nah, bro, I want Underground, bro. I don't give a shit about none of them other games, bro. Underground was where it was at. You know why? Bam Margera. Oh, my God. Hold on. This is taking me back. MC and I, people call me Milk. Bro, I used to listen to this shit every day. I probably just butchered the song. Screaming Calamity, y'all, oh, bro. I'm happy. You see, I'm stoked that it works, right? But wait till I start skating, bro. This shit hurts. This hurts me. This hurts me. As you can see. You thought you had Tony Hawk's Underground 2. But you have Tony Hawk's Underground 2 at home. You see? So, I'm definitely gonna, um... Play Thug Pro. If you don't know, that is a version of Tony Hawk's Underground 2... That is a PC and stuff. And I know you're like, Warren, what, what's going on with this shit? Um, why is it bad? Well, as you move on and you move around, I got I got hit with like literally, um, or what you may call it. Uh, hold on. Oh, there we go. That happened. That happened to me last time. Literally that. And the game is just froze like that. And so how do you get out of that? You gouge out the tiger's eyes. So some games have spotty emulation like that. Some games have very spotty emulation. Uh, like here's Tekken 6 running on the device. Like this is another game that I'm... I was like, when I seen that it ran Tekken 6 on a guy's review, I was like, as a Tekken nerd, I'm going to perform Mars's 10-hit combo on you and stuff, right? But, uh... Nah, not even that is doable. Like, I'll be mad real with y'all. Not even Lars' is, uh, 10 hit is doable. Like, Lars. you get the, uh, what you gonna call it? You get the game get and shit. The and you get to play and whatnot. And it's like, I wonder, does it even show their little, uh, characters? Look at how bad it is. Do you see the way that the loading screen is, like, already gone? Bro, we got this nigga Lars right here. Fuck it. I'm going to still try to hit his 10-hit combo. Here's Tekken 6, though. Bro, I could probably hit Lars's 10-hit combo with ease. Hold on. Hey, guys. POV, you, you main Lars.
hold on, hold on, like, gee, this is, like, not ideal, but, like, I'm literally a, mo one of the most hardiest gamers I know, so I'm still finding enjoyment in this shit. Like, I literally beat Cyberpunk at 15 FPS on a GTX 1060. So, like, I don't know. Take my review of the game of salt, but, like, low-key for what it is and what it does. Um, Dreamcast emulation is pretty much the same. Uh, it ran Dead or Alive really slow. Like... I'm not gonna lie, like, that shit was, like, mad slow. But anyway, uh, what do I say about this game system? Uh, for what it is, it's amazing. Like, I, I'm a fan of it. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna sit here, what I say is better than, like, the PS5 to whoever it, it depends on the game. To me, I find this shit more enjoyable than playing what first person shooter simulator part 18 89 89 or something on my ps5 um because i enjoy games like this and shit and like obviously it's more or less to the beholder you can sit here and if you really want to delete all the games off of this shit and just add what you want to add it already has its own emulator on here all you just really need to do is just i'm gonna give everybody a little tutorial real quick Step one on modding and adding games on the system, very important. You cut that bitch off to where you can't even see that light right there. You want it off to where that light is going. And then you want to come over here and then you just want to grab something and like, you know, make sure it's the one that says game. Hold on. To make sure it's the one that says game, you want to come right here and grab something. If your hands are like big as hell like mine, and you just want to pop that SD card out, like, my bad, you just, just want to pop that shit out, obviously not like that, because that's obviously, like, you know, a way to get your shit broken, and then, next part, this is where, uh, obviously, legality comes into a play, you know what I'm saying, I'm not gonna show y'all where to go, and I'm only gonna tell y'all this, fuck it, it's your life, you know, uh, I've been, like, you know what I'm saying? I've been using, like, emulation and shit for years and stuff like that. Ever since I was a little wee lad. Um, that's just how I played games. But what you do is you pop your little SD card slot. SD into your SD card slot. And I used to own Mortal Kombat Unchained. I owned all the games that I put on here. Um, but what you want to do is you just go on your favorite website. Uh, whatever. And then you go in your files... Hold on, hold on. I got I got I got sidetracked. I must do something. From Dark Stalkers. Dark Stalkers. Feet. Pit. So what you do is you uh, open it up, of course, and you know you go right here, and you know you find your little fucking. Uh, I probably just like showed a bunch of shit that probably shouldn't. Yeah, it's whatever. I don't give a fuck. Anyway, look, Sonic Two Game Boy Color. I don't know how that got here. It got here because I snatched that shit off my own thing. But anyway, what you do is you go right here to this PC, and then you know this shows you how much gigabytes you have left. I only have twelve, but like obviously these games are like one gigabyte, depending on what system you have. Um, and it shows you all the systems that you have available to mod to you uh so i don't know what the fuck a pet is i don't know what a pet is or a pokey mini but um psx is a uh, psp i mean psx is ps1 psp is obviously psp and sega cd is sega cd and for the ones that don't know uh i'm gonna just give y'all the ones that i do know off the top of my dome um NDS is definitely a uh, Nintendo DS. That's what NDS stands for, Nintendo DS. And when you get the games, I'm going to use this uh, one as an example. So as you can see, I have um, the files, Mortal Kombat Unchained, Mortal Kombat Unchained, Shin Megami Tensei, Strange Journey, and whatnot. You want to make sure that you have something like 7-Zip, where you can take the files out of the compressed file, and you don't want to take the folder you do not want to take the folder. What you want to do is you want to take this, 
this. This is all you need. This is all you need. Once you take that and you add it into the emulator or the uh the system that you want to add it on, you're pretty much done. After that, you can just take your little SD card out your little system. Boom. Put that bitch back in the same way. Hopefully, you know, you don't have to do it the way that I do. And then boom, you're done. So what do I rate the Pow Kitty? Uh, what, what do I rate this damn thing? I'm going to just call it the Pow Kitty. The Pow Kitty RGB 20S. What do I rate it? I honestly give it a solid 10. I give it a solid, mm, nah. I'm not going to say 10. I'm going to say 9. 9.5. Because it, it's not his fault. It's not his fault. For what it is, I love it. Honestly, it's a really good emulation system if you really just want to play old school games. And in my case, I'm a Pokemon fan. Like, when I say I'm a Pokemon fan, I have Pokemon fucking what? Like, on Cartridge, I have Pokemon Sun. I have Pokemon Scarlet. Well, no, I bought my friend Pokemon Scarlet. I have Pokemon Violet. Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Arceus, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I love this. I love the genre. I love the genre of turn-based RPGs and stuff. The only reason why you don't see Persona 3 Portable on here is because I have Persona 3 Portable on my Switch. But I'm definitely going to add Persona, the two Persona Innocent Sin games and the remasters of that shit on here too. Um, but it's cool. Like, you know, a lot of game systems don't give you the chance to like, oh, okay, I don't like the software or the games on this shit. I'm going to just take it out and, you know, mod it and whatnot. For what it is, as somebody who, like, used an Android phone to play emulators, like, I literally have NDS on my phone. And the two games that I have on NDS is literally Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey and Kingdom Hearts 358 Days and 2. And I have, like, two hours in both. And the only reason why I stopped playing them is because I didn't really like having no buttons. I'm a person about buttons and stuff. I'd rather play with buttons than a touchscreen. And so off the simple fact of, like, buttons, you know, it has really nice buttons. Like, everybody's like, mm, the buttons are mushy. The buttons are dish. The buttons are dad. The buttons are trash. At the end of the day, it's not, it's not like, you know, made by Sony or PlayStation. It's not a $1,000 company. I mean, it's not like a billion-dollar company. It's somebody that makes this shit. China and they're making it and they're giving it to us and like it's probably like what what like one factory two factories two factories at most making this shit and for that sole fact of the novelty of being able to play everything from an NES to a PSP it's amazing simple as that like I know I'm speaking nonsense and gibberish now and shit but like you can literally play anything from nes to the psp now is it gonna be shoddy on the way through is everything gonna run like fucking butterflies and rainbows no but at the end of the day you just have that accessibility do it what do i say is it worth the money yes there's other game systems out here that are worth this shit costs the same price as a playstation 4 controller i want you to keep in mind that a playstation 4 controller no, a PS5 controller costs more than this. But which one would you rather have more fun with? This shit right here where you can play as many games as you want or piece of dog ass shit right here. On the side note, on the side note to this review, I'm going to review this controller real quick. Fuck the DualSense. I'm going to be mad real. Who wanted the motors in the back of this controller? I didn't. Who wanted the vibration in this controller? I didn't. But anyway. <laughs> All the video games on this system has a soul. Even the ROM hacks. I'm going to be real. Even the ROM hacks. It's funny as hell that last night, me and my best friend who grew up playing like video games and stuff, we were literally sharing a laugh about fucking Tekken versus Virtual Fighter. I've never heard of that shit before. I was like, Tekken versus Virtual Fighter? And on the side note, for all the weeaboos out there, like me, I'm wearing casually wearing a um, Yu Yu Hakusho shirt. Guess what? Have you ever heard of a Wonder Swan? No? Well, uh, now you have. Let me show you. Uh, allow me to show you the Wonder Swan and what it is. For the simple fact of them having the Wonder Swan on here, and I don't even know what the Wonder Swan is. It was only like something that I've heard 
in a few videos about like old video game systems and like old anime games and stuff. I'm gonna show y'all what the Wonder Swan is. Hold on, I probably passed it. Wonder Swan. Where is it? I just had it. System. I just had it. Oh, here we go. Wonder Swan color. Look at this. So, you know, we got little shit like this. I was just chilling. You know, I was like, what? what's this? Arc, uh, Arc the Lag? Or Arc the Ladder or something. Shit like that. I suck at reading. Dark Eyes, Digimon and shit. And I was like, Digimon? Oh, cool. Dragon Ball? Wh what? Final Fantasy? That's obviously not the Final Fantasy game that you're playing on here. But Final Fantasy? What? This is the shit that threw me in a loop right here. Oh, yeah. First off, they got the first two Guilty Gear games. I'm finna play that. So, let me add those to my list real quick. Because I'm gonna definitely play that. But they also have, like, Inuyasha games. Yu Yu Hakusho. All that shit. So, yeah. That's a side note. Alright, I'm done.